Nothing will captivate the attention of every American more than the race between Biden and Trump leading up to the presidential election of 2024. But now it appears from Trump himself that things aren't quite what they appear and won't be what they appear. As the cast of characters involved in this saga will continue to grow, Trump does an exclusive interview and says something that many didn't expect him to say, a prediction that it's not going to turn out the way you think it's going to turn out. That's the story we're going to cover for you here today. Before we get to the rest of the story, please triple check you're still subscribed to Lisa's channel just by looking below. And if you are, make sure your bell is checked to all many of you who think you are subscribed to find out you're not. That's why we continue to remind you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, she'll put a link just above. Make sure you click on it so no matter where we broadcast, you make sure you get the message if you want everything consolidated. As you know, go to restrictedrepublic.com today. Use discount code INDEPENDENCE. And get $4 a month for two years plus 14 days for free to catalog of all the information you've been looking for in one place. All the things you haven't heard about anymore. All under one roof. And that place is RestrictedRepublic.com. The catalog growing daily. <laughs> no matter where we broadcast, you will find the information under RestrictedRepublic.com. Discount code independence. $4 a month for two years plus 14 days for free. And as a favor to Lisa, today I need you to go to C60EVO.com forward slash Lisa Haven. That's right. C60EVO.com forward slash Lisa Haven. Feel great. Live your best life in 2024. Take C60 EVO Organic Oils Daily to maximize your full potential. That was C60 evo.com forward slash lisa haven right now using discount code lisa h at checkout you're going to get an additional 10 percent off the already fabulous deals over there the olive oil is something she takes every day one of her favorite products is the facial serum literally when she runs out she goes insane she loves it that much that is c60 evo.com forward slash lisa haven using discount code lisa h at checkout Get an additional 10% off the already fabulous pricing. The question resonating with many, could the Democrats replace Joe Biden as their presidential candidate? Others screaming, that's never going to happen. Are you so sure? Do you think they're going to allow and not put anybody against Joe Biden with everything that's happening on your TV screens, news articles, everything you're reading, everything you've heard? Come on, my friends, that would be a very bad decision by the Democrats. How popular is Joe? Whoa, how unpopular is Joe Biden? An updating, continually updating calculation of the president's approval rating, which continues to plummet. It's down at 39.3% on January 23rd, right around a year ago, 53.8%. Man, those numbers nobody wants to see. And you've seen article after article inspired by it. How does Biden stack up with past presidents? Not many who've plummeted to the depths that he has just looking at that green line. Yeah, there's been a couple, but not many. And that spells disaster for the Democrats. So how long do you think they're going to hold on? How long do you think they're going to wait until they make a decision? Ask why they would prefer another candidate besides Biden in 2024. 33% say because of his age. 32% say because of his job performance. But note that those statistics are skewed. The reason they're skewed is because the mainstream media is holding back the number one story of all as to why nobody wants to vote for Biden. And it's as simple as reaching in your back pocket. Because what nobody's talking about is America is injured. If you think it's only 41% that say their financial situation is worse, I'm here to tell you that number is drastically lower than it should be. We hear day in and day out from each and every one of you, and we know how much you're hurting. We are too. Nobody has been immune from Bidenomics. 
It's demolished the nation, and it will be the single biggest variable leading up to the next election, the one that nobody wants to talk about because it's far worse than they know they can let out. Yes, is the border crisis bad? Of course it is. It is a travesty. It is an embarrassment. But that's only one of the many reasons why things will change. The ties to buying, the family that will grow together, is crumbling together. The majority of voters now believing Joe Biden likely involved in his family business, although he's claimed otherwise, just another variable leading to why his polls are worsening. Another poll, four in 10 Americans' financial situations worse than the past six months. You see, you have to go to alternate media to find the articles of what America really cares about. And how did Biden end the year? With a 39% job approval rating. And they still want to paint the illusion that he will run in the 2024 presidential election. I hope he does. He would be the easiest person to beat out of all. But you see, other things are starting to brew up. And Democrats are hurting Democrats even worse on top of all the Biden problems. So you see, right now they don't need any help to lose. But the focus for the mainstream media has been on who will run against Donald Trump. But it's really not the story now, is it? Never has been the story. If the mainstream media is talking about it, then you know there's something else happening. So we'll go to Los Angeles, one of the most liberal cities in the entire living universe. And when an article comes out of Los Angeles in their daily news stating selfish Joe Biden doesn't care if Donald Trump ends up winning in 2024, you know you have something else going on, don't you? And Trump's warned of it now in an exclusive interview we're about to cover. Things aren't what they appear. Going down in this article, President Joe Biden doesn't care about the country. He doesn't care about his party. He doesn't mind if Donald Trump wins back the presidency. Strong words. The only thing he cares about is himself, his ego to be exact. I'm not inside Joe's head, who, who would want to be be a very confusing place. But there's only one other possible, possible explanation for his stubborn, continuing insistence on running for re-election, and that is that he's insane. This coming out of the Los Angeles Daily News, mind you. Unless Trump dies or succumbs to a major health setback, there's an 85% chance that the legally embattled former president will be the Republican nominee in 2024. True. A 15% chance is real. It's not zero. But you shouldn't. You can't. Not unless you're a total moron. Make an important decision that relies on 15% probability. Biden will almost certainly be running against Trump again, and he will probably lose. The polls are clear about that. The only one who's not listening is Joe Biden. Democrats quietly move to secede Biden. November 2nd, 2023. You see, this story started a long time ago. December 13th, a little over a year, two years ago, sorry, 2021, 11 Democrats who could replace Joe Biden in 2024, they knew back then. They always publish it for you to read. But then it comes back around to where we're at today. And there is a shadow campaign going on. There's no denial of that. And you should know who is running the shadow campaign. It is being staged already despite what anyone doesn't want to talk about. Except Trump is about to say the quiet part out loud. Dean Phillips is running against Biden. He's the only one officially so far. Do you, have you heard about that? Do you know who Dean Phillips is? I played him in a broadcast the other day. People were shocked. Never heard of this guy. Democrat from Minnesota. Challenges Biden in 2024 race, but that's not who's going to win. There ain't no way in heck he has no FaceTime. Nobody even knows who he is. No, some of the Hills already come out this year and stated the five Democrat alternatives if President Biden exits the 2024 race. Of course, Kamala Harris always topping the list, but if you follow what's happening with her, there's no way that's going to happen. The one you got to worry about, who I've told you you have to worry about, is on your screen. It's the man running the shadow campaign. He has been. He has national FaceTime. 
Although not making it official and saying there's no way it's ever going to happen, it's amazing he keeps the campaign running, doesn't he? Squaring off against DeSantis, which makes no sense because DeSantis at this point is a non-variable. But it's allowing Gavin Newsom to maintain the stage. If you think it's going to be Pete Buttigieg, never going to happen. There's so many others that will never happen. Gretchen Whitmer, a scarier one. Not seen many people throw her hat in the ring yet, and this one just makes me laugh because if Alexandra Kesho cortez was to run or even get the presidency, man, Saturday Night Live would have a field day for the next many years. Now, wouldn't they? But, of course, nobody takes that seriously. Now, people have taken this a little bit more seriously. Now, haven't they, Gavin Newsom, Kamala Harris? Oh, but justice, I've read, they can't run. They're from the same state. That isn't true. Can the president and vice president be from the same state? And if you look below, you'll get a pretty quick indicator as to why they can be. There is no rule that prohibits anything. The more important part of that story has always been Gavin Newsom, who brings the fight to the red states. And when you read what Trump said in this exclusive interview, you start to see why it's where the story needs to remain. Things aren't going to turn out the way you think they are. Palm Beach, Florida, former president Donald Trump told Breitbart News in an exclusive interview at his luxurious seaside resort in Mar-a-Lago that he expects to face neither incumbent Democrat President Joe Biden nor incumbent Vice President Kamala Harris in November of 2024 in the general election. Trump said that while he does hope that Biden hangs on to the Democrat side to win his party's nomination, he can't believe he's going to be the nominee. He's a cheater, he's a scoundrel, he's a bad guy, Trump said, told Breitbart News. But in life, he's always been able to convince people that he's a really nice guy. I laugh when they say that. Trump is the evil one, and he's the nice one. That's the one thing he's been able to do. All you have to do is look at his credentials. When you compare him today to 15 or 20 years ago, he's a different guy. Altogether, the guy can't talk. The guy can't put two sentences together. So I do think this. I cannot believe he's going to be the nominee. I hope he is, but I can't believe he's going to be the nominee. Trump is preparing for something entirely different. It won't turn out the way that anyone thinks it's going to turn out. And now Donald Trump has come out to say the same thing. Asked who he thinks will replace Biden on the Democrat side atop the ticket, Trump says he doesn't know. But he doesn't think it will be Kamala Harris. He said some Democrats would argue that if it's not Biden, it has to be Harris because of the promise Biden made to Representative James Clyburn to pick a black woman as his running mate, which was essentially for Clyburn's backing in 2020. However, Clyburn and Kamala had a little bit of a falling out recently. I don't know, Trump said. There's a whole thing that is has to be Kamala because of the whole deal with Clyburn. I don't think that will get her by. Trump again said he is unsure who might emerge, but said he thinks it will be a free-for-all among Democrats to try to seize the top spot in the ballot. That I can't tell you, Trump said. There'll be a point at which it's a free-for-all. I don't think that Biden will make it to the gate. Hmm. Now, why hasn't the mainstream media seized on that? Why are they so quiet over this? You see, all they have left is the element of surprise. They're going to have to rally their troops at the very last minute. There will have to be a monumental change in who is going to take the candidacy that will drive so much excitement. The groundswell could overcome Trump. It's the Democrats' only chance. And so if you look closer into this entire discussion, really, it can only end with two people now can it Gavin Newsom and Michelle Obama it is what can save the party it is I believe what Trump is now preparing for he's no longer preparing for Trump versus Biden when he doesn't even believe it's going to happen you see that's a story that no one will cover they won't touch they won't talk about not because they can't not because they won't. It's just the timing isn't right. Biden has too much going against him. And as America's financial status continues to erode, 
so does the probability that Biden will be running for the 2024 presidential spot. What say you? I can't wait to see your opinions below. Trump has now foreshadowed it. Now it's for us to talk about a bit further. We love your comments. Love your shares. Can't thank you enough for being here. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight, signing out.